obesity, cardiovascular disease and diabetes are now the major cause of premature death worldwide. The social cost, the quality of life cost and the health cost is actually enormous if we don't do something about it as fast and as well as we can. They're complex problems that require a new and complex solution. The mission of the Charles Perkins Centre is to ease the burden of obesity, diabetes and cardiovascular disease and their related conditions. When we were looking for a name for the centre, we thought through the stories of our alumni who had made a difference, who had a real socially transformative effect in the life of our country. And we were particularly proud to identify the work of Charles Perkins as embodying the spirit of what we're trying to do here. Philanthropy's been crucial in the Charles Perkins Center story. We have about $50 million that's been given to this particular project. And what it's enabled us to do is to have 14 new professorial chairs, most of which were funded by individual donations. One of the really special things about the Charles Perkins Center is that it's been created as a, an inspiring environment where scholars can come together from all sorts of different disciplines, disciplines that you might not think up front are the ones that you need to solve the problems of obesity, diabetes and cardiovascular disease. One of the most exciting things is to be able to sit in a typical research collaboration group, you know, with myself as a physicist, sitting next to someone from medicine, sitting next to someone from the humanities, someone from engineering, um, someone from the business school, you know, all of us sitting together and just brainstorming ideas. And that's really what defines discovery. We have undergraduates being taught in the most extraordinary world-leading facilities for wet and dry laboratory research and teaching. And at the other end of the building, you've got our clinical research facility, and that's the interface between us and the clinical network of activity that extends all the way out to Broken Hill. This building, however, is the hub to a centre which extends far more broadly than that. We have Charles Perkins Centre out at Broken Hill, we have Charles Perkins Centre at Nepean. We're developing Charles Perkins Centre at Westmead and also at North Shore. We're very interested in translating the exciting science that is happening here in Charles Perkins into the care of people. We're not just trying to revolutionise the way we, we do research, but we're also trying to revolutionise the way that we teach the next generation of students. What we're looking for now in this environment of modern science are critical thinkers with a breadth of knowledge and a really comprehensive education and I think that's what the Charles Perkins Centre offers. We have great minds out there. Those great minds have great opportunities all over the world. We want them to come here. We are going to affect a paradigm shift in the way that research is going to be conducted into the future. I want this building to be a beacon in the intellectual and cultural life of this city and this country. The vibrant community of early career researchers and students and academics and practitioners and members of the community all working together in harmony and generating, if you like, a crucible of innovation. I think we can inform and reform the health of the world.